Hey coach, thanks for having us in today. Really appreciate it. It's quite the uh, facility that you guys have got out here. You got a great field, locker room, weight room, and everything for the boys. It's a heck of a setup. Thank you very much. It, this, this place has been kind of a labor of love and um, we, we're, we're, we're pretty proud of what we have here. Yeah, most definitely. So going into your third season here in Sand Springs and, uh, you know, so, you, you know, look at kind of go back and look at the last couple of years, started out, you know, seven and five your first year, eight and four last year, semifinals when it comes to it, you know, before we even, you know, move forward and talk about the future, you know, what you have this year, you know, it's kind of take a look back and, and talk about last season. You know, I, I do think that, um, it was uh, this year is going to be a pivotal season for us. Um, last year, with, with the success we were having um, through the playoffs, um, that, 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 that's something that we want to take that momentum going into this season. Um, we want to get to where making deep runs in the playoffs is, is something that, that, that happens continually around here. Um, you know, I've had the opportunity to work at um, places like Owasso and, and Broken Arrow, and so I know what what major programs look like, what it, what it feels like, what, what it sounds like, and we're getting closer and closer. And, um, you know, the kids are doing a great job. We've got some talented individuals coming up. So, um, you know, any great program has really good kids uh, who are talented. Um, but we also have to have that program in place um, to maximize that talent. I think we're getting closer and closer. Exactly. Yeah, very good. Um, you know, one question that I had that, you know, when I got thinking about, you know, not to spend it, uh, too much time on your season last year, I want to talk about this year and moving forward. But, you know, one question that I always ask a lot of coaches can I always get a different answer is, you know, you take your playoff game last year. I mean, you guys were right there to be to go to the championship. Some coaches will say, you know, I never watched that film. I threw it yeah. in the I threw it in the fire. Other coaches say I watched that thing 30 times. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you watch it, and there's certain things that happen, and there's certain calls you'd like to take back. Um, but you know, I mean, it, it, it's just the way it works out. It's it's it's, it's all God's plan and what happens. Um, and so, we uh, as coaches, we're always going to second guess. We're always going to look at things that okay, come into the next season. These might be our strengths. These might mm -hmm. be our weaknesses. How can we capitalize on the team that we're going to have this year? And so, that's kind of what we've done as a staff. Um, we're, we're we're coming up here in our work week. Um, so we're going to definitely try to put our kids in the best position to succeed and hopefully we can emulate what we are able to accomplish, if not go further uh, than last year. Is it time to give your home an upgrade? The remodeling experts from locally and family owned art construction and roofing can give your property a brand new look. From roof replacement, exterior remodel to kitchen and bath remodels depend on our over 20 years of experience for high quality remodeling work. We're a fully licensed and insured business and we know how to get the job done right. It's not just construction, it's art. My name is Josh Jackson and I'm a sports performance training specialist at Next Level Athletics. I'm working alongside Mitch Ulner with the Futures program from College Promoters to give these kids the athletic advantage they need by refining their speed, explosiveness, power, and all the things that make up a great athlete. We're gonna give these kids everything and more that they need to accelerate their game. Hi, I'm Mitch Allner with College Promoters Oklahoma, and with our Futures program, we're gonna be working with the younger generation of kids because when it comes to sports, it starts at this age. We're gonna be working with kids from third grade all the way up to sixth grade, working on speed, explosion, but more importantly, we're gonna be working on the skills of the game of football, ball handling, throwing the ball, how to carry the ball correctly, how to learn the game and what actually you're gonna to need to know on the field and not just how to run straight. We're gonna provide a full experience to our kids and to our families that are involved. With our Futures program, we are investing in our kids' future. Sports Insider is produced by Big Wheel Digital Media. Professional web development, Google marketing, and stylized video production are all in our wheelhouse. Our multi-track recording and post-production studio is located at 5840 South Memorial Drive, Suite 210. Call us or email us today to discuss creative solutions for your business marketing and growing your brand. 918-921-4818, bigwheeldigitalmedia.com. For over 10 years, I've been fighting to recover millions of dollars on behalf of my clients that have been injured in car wrecks. The last thing you need to worry about is fighting against an insurance company. Let me fight for you. Call 918-582-7775 and set up your free consultation today.
Very good. Well, let's talk about this season. So a lot, lot of kids to replace from a very strong uh, team that you had last year. Mm -hmm. How you looking? You know, we're going to have to replace Todd Pennington, the number one quarterback statistically. Um, so we're going to have a, a competition going into the fall between a young freshman coming up and then a, a move-in um, senior. So we're excited for the competition to see what happens. There's a lot of great players that are, that are going to be surrounding those quarterbacks. So it's just you know, helping those guys uh, get comfortable and making sure that we're getting the ball in the playmakers' hands. And then, um, you know, the, the one thing we're going to do around here that I take pride on is we're going to play really good defense. So yeah. that's uh, if we can get those things done, we should be fairly successful, we hope. Well, it's going to be one of my questions. You're yeah. a defensive guy. Sure, yeah. You know, my trade. I mean, is that where you spend a lot of your time, or do you kind of work both sides of it, or how do you work when it comes to with your coaching staff? I, I, I mainly work on the defensive side of the football. I, I think that's just my personality. It's what mm -hmm. I played in high school and college. Um, it, it, it's what I'm, I'm, I'm really passionate about. Um, and I, I, I wouldn't consider myself a defensive guru by any stretch of the imagination. The one thing I, I do think we can do, or that I've been good at, is motivating players and getting them to play hard. And um, you know, that, that's not a quantifiable thing that you can calculate. It, it's, it's something that just get, build those relationships with those kids. And um, I think that's been something that we've been able to do here the last couple of years. We kind of touched on it a little bit earlier. I mean, you know, between going back to your playing days in high school and then your playing days in college and, and some other places that you've coached at, I mean, you've got a lot of experience with it. Mm -hmm. I mean, is that something that, you know, you have conversations with your players? I mean, they're, they're high school kids, to be quite honest with you. And a lot of them have aspirations of going and possibly playing at the next level. You know, are those, are those conversations and talks that you have with some of your players and, and kind of some of that knowledge that you've gained over the years? Yeah, I, I, I do think there's... Um some of that that goes on that, they, they, you know, kids are going to Google when the new coach comes in, they're going to Google where you've been. And, you know, I was lucky enough to be a, a bench warmer at OU and then actually got to play a little bit at the University of Tulsa. And so I, I do think that when it does give you a little bit of a, that street cred, um, but, but ultimately, you know, if, if they're wanting to go to the next level, you know, the program's set in place and it's those kids, they have to understand that, you know, it, 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 it takes work. It takes a lot of sacrifice to get to that level. And if a young man ever has questions on, you know, what it takes to get there, I do hope that I can give them um, some good answers for that. 6A2 this year, got some changes, obviously, yeah. that, you know, made, you know, shifted some, some teams up and some teams down based off of enrollment. Um, you know, going to be a little bit of a change in the garden 6A2 this mm -hmm. year. I mean, you know, let big, no surprise, Bigsby's been kind of dominating a little bit the last few years. They moved up to 6A1. You know, with the restructure and everything, how are you guys feeling? How's it looking? Yeah, we're excited. Um, you know, when you, when you talk about it changing the guard, obviously Lauren and, and Bixby have done an unbelievable job. And, you know, you, you look for them to kind of keep going in 6A1. Um, and we're, we're excited. Um, we're excited for the opportunity um, to get to succeed um, at this level. But, you know, n nothing changes for us. I mean, we're we're going to prepare the way we prepare. Um, we're going to work just as hard as anybody. In fact, um, people might think I'm crazy, but I, I scheduled Bixby, you know, for our second game of the year because we, you know, if we want to get to that level as a football program, we've got to continually, continually put ourselves against those types of football programs. So um, that's what we're working on. The kids have made unbelievable strides and, you know, we're just, we're going to go about our business and at the chip and see where the, put our cards down, see where the chips fall and see what happens. This community out here. Mm -hmm. What's this community mean to the school and to this program? This place has been unbelievable in terms of, you know, if we need funds or anything for these kids, um, they're, they're, they're all hands on deck. And it, it's been a really, really cool surprise. Um, you know, I think people that aren't, aren't familiar with Sand Springs maybe wouldn't think about it like that. But it, this, this, this is one of the greatest communities I've been a part of. And um, they really want their football team to be successful. Give us a couple names on both sides of the ball. Who should we be looking for this oh, year? Man. Or maybe even a name that some people might not know yeah. about that might surprise you that's done a lot of work. Um, a, a young man that's going to help be, have a big time year for us is Brody Rutledge. He, he, he uh, played wide receiver last year. Um, he was kind of slated to be the next quarterback, but he did such a good job at wide receiver. We wanted to keep him there because that's where we feel that he's going to have the, the greatest opportunity to go to the next level. Um, he, he, he's a guy who's 6'3". Um, getting close to 6'4", going to go up and get the football, got strong hands. Um, so we're definitely looking for him um, not only to lead on the football field, but lead in the locker room as well. Um, defensively, we, we've got a linebacker by the name of Drake Fain, who I, I, I want to say is going to be a four-year starter. Um, he's just one of those guys. He's got a big barrel chest. Um, he, he leads that defense. People listen to him. 
does a great job of reading his keys and and when he gets his hands on you you're going down so mm -hmm. we're uh, we've got good senior leadership going into this season and we're looking for those guys to help lead our football program all right coach yeah. got a couple questions for you you're gonna kind of do a rapid Come fire on. make it pretty simple so we'll start here what's your favorite place that you vacationed my family's lane we love branson so when we usually go out there we, we went there last year with our kids for uh, the, the christmas light spectacular oh, that's, yeah. it was beautiful yeah i'm i'm a nerd when it comes to that stuff so we love it so i branson <laughs> all right so going back to either playing or coaching doesn't matter so who's your favorite coach that you've either played for yeah, or well, coached with yeah there, there's so many you know coaches are just they're like second fathers to you but probably my favorite would be uh, tad gross who's he was the offensive coordinator at jinx now the head coach at hall and hall um he was just one of those guys that he, he gave me my first opportunity to play as a young sophomore and um at the end of my sophomore season I bet him if I rush for a thousand yards, I get to shave his head. So the last game, I got I got to shave his head, so that was pretty cool. Tenders. There you go, <laughs> memorable. Favorites. I love it. Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> I love it. Um, what's your favorite professional player of all time? Any sport of all time? You know, growing up, my dad's from Texas, so I was a Texas Rangers fan, and Julio Franco was my guy because he had that <laughs> get that, that bat weird, swing yeah, up there, right, right. that long bat, and yeah. he hit it like. But yeah, Julio Franco, Texas Rangers. Probably my all-time favorite. Very good. Uh, can you drive a golf ball over 250 yards? I can drive a golf ball 250 yards now. Get not on the course. Straight, it while. might be 250 into the other fairway, but that's not what I, I asked. I, I get, like it. I, it. It feels wrong not to swing hard. I know yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> Fishing or hunting? Neither. I don't do that. Neither. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you prefer watching football game live or on TV? Um, I like TV. I, I kind of get that buzz when I'm coaching here, so. Yeah. We get here early in the mornings on Saturdays, and yeah. you know I got a nice big HD TV that you know I enjoy watching TV in the comfort of my own home. See, I'm a TV guy also. Yeah, a lot of people it. always say live and stuff. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm I'm a TV guy now. I, I like that college yeah. atmosphere once in a while. I lived it, been there. Yep. I, I enjoy being home. Yep, I hear you. <laughs> All right, uh, if you if you had to pick one of your assistant coaches to be on your Madden football team, which one of your coaches would it be? Do you have any 100 gamers? Percent is, is Jay Fleshman. He's He's the greatest athlete in Sand Springs history. We always joke about that, but he was, I think he was an All-State wrestler, All-State football player, played at OSU, so Jay Fleshman, easily. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Coach, I appreciate it. Awesome, guys, thank you, this is fun. Appreciate you guys.